Hi, this is a short video on how to place a textured object from Blender into uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, we'll be getting a texture from Texture Haven and applying it to the default cube here and then just loading it into Flight Simulator. So here we go. So I'm just going to go into edit mode in Blender and generate the UVs for my cube. I'm just doing a smart UV unwrap since this is a simple shape and should be fine for our purposes. So there we go. Now I'm going to go and find the material for the cube. So I'm still in object mode, clicked on the um, cube. So click onto our material panel. We'll not be using the surface part of the material. Instead, we'll be using this um, MSFS material params part. So we can click down here and then select MS for FS standard, which is the type of material that Flight Simulator will be using. So you can see here that we have all of our albedo metallic normal um, parts of our PBR texture available. So we need to be able to um, just link in our textures here. So we'll just go and find our texture. So this is the site I'm going to use to get our textures. This is Texture Haven. It's a free PBR site, which has a reasonable selection of free materials for use. So I'm just going to click onto one of the textures. Download all of the maps. I'm going to download the Pinge um, 1K size texture. just going to go and copy that into my where I keep my um, textures extract that out so here is our um, individual maps we've got our diffuse our normal maps um, height maps and um, most of the maps needed for PBR. So we're now going to go and add these into Blender. So we've selected our albedo over here, so we want our diffuse map. Our roughness map, and our normal map. So if we now switch um, Blender over into textured mode, hopefully we should see our texture showing. And there we go. As with not, um, before, if we need to make sure that our cube is properly um, centered in the, to make sure it doesn't sink into the ground once we load it. So I'm just going to move it up one, like so. And set the um, object's origin to 3D cursor. As you can see the origin is now back to 000. zero, zero. So we'll now go off and export our file ready for loading into uh, Flight Simulator. So I'll just pick my directory that's in my where I'm keeping my models. So package source models and I've already created a cube so I'll call this one cube2 or textured cube even. So let's create a new folder for it. And we need to go and create an XML file for our model, so we're just going to go over here, tick generate append, 
using the same file name as our model, so textureCube.xml, and we want to make sure we generate our GUID. In the geometry section here, there's a section to make sure that materials are ticked, and then press export. So if we now go and find our project directory, we can see our textures cube folder with our three textures, our XML file and our model files. The XML file we need to check to make sure that the version is 1.1. and the textures need to be placed into another folder called texture which you can see here so these are the three textures that our model requires so I'm just going to get rid of these old textures and I'll just get rid of that old file there so it will be using this set of files here. So if we now switch over to Flight Simulator, um, this is just loaded as standard. I have the development mode turned on. So we'll go and select Developer Camera. Then we'll go and use the Project Editor to load in our project. So here is the project that we've set up previously. So I'm just going to go and build the package. The first time you build a model, I've noticed that it cannot find the files here. Uh, the second time you go away and build it, this error errors do not appear. So we're just going to clear our console now if we go into our scenery editor we can uh, zoom in a little bit and then we go and select the scenery file that we previously created there we go and now we should be able to and where has my add button gone? Let's turn that one off, turn it back on again And there we go, the ob objects um, dialog was turned off for some reason. So we can now zoom into where we want to place our building. Hopefully our textured cube will now be showing or not. So we're just going to go and reload our project. Turn on our scenery editor again, and now you can see that our texture cube is showing. So we're just going to load up our scene again. Move our material editor out the way. I'll just close that for now. the house I previously placed earlier. So now here's our texture and we can now do add and here you can see our cube has been added. 
So we can now move this around uh, and place it. Now, if we wanted to use this model to replace an existing building, we could, so if this was the building that we would like to replace with our model, we can go into here and select Polygon and turn on the, make sure our properties is turned on here and then press Add. We can now click on to our Polygon here, sorry, now select our Polygon and now we want to using the control click draw a polygon around this location so anything contained within this boundary will be excluded from flight simulators automatic building construction so once we've finished press enter and we now have our polygon defined here so this properties panel here shows what we're going to do so we want to exclude all and you can see that our building is now no longer being generated by um, the AI system built within Flight Simulator and we should be free to go back to our scenery, find our textures cube, press add and now we can move our cube around and replace the building with the model where which we would have created um, with more detail or than the um, estimate that the AI has taken. So to change, save our polygon, we click onto polygon over here, press save scenery. We're prompted for where we'd like to save it, our shape file. So I'm just going to go and put that into my scene. And I'll just call the file shape. just to make sure I've saved my scenery. Sorry, cancel that, save scenery. And there we have it. So you can now, that is how to replace a building with our own textured cube. Thank you for watching.